Okay, so with this video we're going to learn how to create surfaces within Civil 3D and there's several different ways to do it so some work, some ways work better for different projects and types and, and uh, I'll show you a few different ways that we can create surfaces within Civil 3D. Um, this is just a a site that was leveled and they're putting up apartment buildings so we're going to have patio and pool and apartment buildings and a parking lot and an entrance to the main road over here. Um, so the first thing you need to do is come over to your surfaces and create right click on it right click create surface and you want to give it a name we'll call it PG make the style be proposed say okay that just gives you a, a something to start adding definition to. Um, there's a, a lot of different ways you can all of these are options of ways you can add information into your surface to create um, and show contours. Um, a quick easy way to get started um, just so that you can see kind of what you have going on and see how the surface is changing. Um, if you right click on here and it, then you can add a point uh, it'll get you started and then you can add different things in there to make it the definition grow um, our main elevation right around in here is 779 780 so I'll say that I'm gonna make this up here 781 so I'm gonna set a point here and it's asking for the elevation so I'm gonna say 781 hit enter and I'll go over here and do the same 781 hit enter and we'll just kind of start working our way, around, way around the site so that you can see this the surfaces start building as I put in these points right now since it's they're all kind of the same elevation um, there's no there's not going to be any change so there's going to be no reason to see any contours um, and this is just kind of throwing out some numbers so that you can see how it works. So I've got 781 all the way around the outside perimeter of that parking lot. Um, if we used to come in here and set a point, we'll make this, since that's 781, we'll make this 780 at the intersection of those curbs. And you can see it's building out a contour line as I'm putting in 780 at these little spots so that right there is the first contour line that's going to build um, actually it's built one the 781 is around the edge and then this or 780 is here in the middle if you used to turn on the 10 you left click on the surface right click to get to your shortcut window and then turn on your points and triangles you'll be able to see that it shows you where you have set those points and then it shows it's a, it's coming into to the center part where I set more points and then these are the the lines that show that you have a surface um, so that's one real quick and easy way to add information into a civil 3d surface right click add point and then you can just start adding a point anywhere that you click, type in your elevation, and it'll start putting definition to the surface. So that's the easiest way, quickest and simplest. Um, while I have these big lines here, I want to show you another little little trick. Um, if you click on the surface. All of these edit once you have a surface all of these edits are now in the ribbon so you can edit the surface and it's kind of the same same list it's just uh, up in the ribbon and once you click on the surface it's activated through the ribbon so again you can add points wherever you like I'll make this 780.5 so it'll be a little higher And you see it's the same function, it's just you find it in the ribbon. 
instead of in that the tool space. It's kind of the trick to learn in Civil 3D is that there's a lot of different ways to get to what you're trying to get to. Okay, um, another way to add uh, information into your surface is through feature lines. I'm going to turn the tin off for now so that we can see what we're working with. Um, so I'm going to click on this line. This will be the uh, the front edge of the curb. So it's all encompassed in a polyline. If you go to the home tab, there's a pull down underneath the feature line. Create feature line from objects. It's going to pull up a dialog box and you can change all these or you can leave it as standard. It really is just up to how you want it to look. I've got a set to go to the feature line layer and I'm not going to assign, the, assign elevations so I'm going to say OK. We are not going to assign elevations because we're not pulling from the existing surface. So now I have a feature line here um, and if you have that line selected, you can right click and go to your elevation editor. Pulls up a window here that has all of those vertices in a nice little table where you can see the elevations. It's actually pulling an elevation because I had already had an elevation in the surface. I'm not sure why it did that because I said not to add elevations, but it's a pretty easy fix. Um, so if you select all of them, you can change it, <clears throat> change the elevation all at once and make it, let's say, 780. I think we made it 780, so let's do that. We'll say 780. So now, if I want to add that to the surface. You click on that feature line again. Up in the ribbon you can say apply, add to surface as a break line. So you click that and say which surface do you want to add it to? We want to add it to our proposed grade. Say OK. Give yourself a description. We'll say center island. Um, if you if you want to do weeding factors you can you can do it here and it kind of adds more definition to it. Um, for the mid-ordinate distance, I always make it 0.1. That's around the curves. You know, I'll say OK. And now it's added in 780, kind of all the way through here. We had added 780.5 to the surface over here. So I'm going to take that out just so that uh, it's uniform all the way around. We'll pull the uh, tin and triangles and stuff back on real quick. Um, if you have added a point that you want to get rid of, first I'll, I'll show you. Um, you can modify that point. If you click on it, it it'll tell you that I had set that to 780.5. Now let's set it back to 780. And uh, I think we did this one too, so I will change that to 780. And it's found in the same um, found in the same box. If you click on that again, you can edit that surface. If you've got a point you're trying to get rid of, click on that, delete point, zoom in here and find the uh, the icon that you're looking for, the little cross. Say bam, point deleted. Um, if you are wanting to, I'm gonna undo and bring that back just for that was just for to show you how to do it. If you're having trouble seeing your points, like for instance, my 2D line work is the same color as the cross. Um, if you click on your surface, you right click, edit surface style, and you can change the color of the points. The points right now are set to, to a cyan, so if I was to change those to yellow, they'd be a little easier to see. If you don't like the gray for the tin, 
You make them red, any color you really want. And the, but uh, it's whatever you prefer to look at whenever you're working on stuff. So now we have red points with yellow tin. Um, if you would like those X's to be bigger, back to the same place, edit surface style, points. And uh, it's telling you, asking here what size you want. We can make them a foot. And they'll be a lot bigger and easier to click on. When you zoom out a little bit, you can see them a little better when they're a foot. Um, it just depends on what you're really wanting to do with the surface um, as to how big or it's personal preference. Um, so we've used a point. We've added in with um, a, a uh, feature line. Um, if you wanted to draw a polyline, I believe you can make that into a, just if you wanted to do something silly down the middle of it here, um, you can make that a 3D polyline. And you can add that in as well. Um, I'm gonna make it, I'm instead of going from polyline, I'm going directly from a 3D polyline. So there's my 3D polyline. Um, if I pull up the properties of the 3D polyline, give it a Z of 781. Over here in the, um, in the tool space, you can uh, you can add break lines. We'll call it 3D Poly just because that's what we're using. Leave it a standard. So leave all that the same. Say OK. And it it added it in, but uh, looks like there's an elevation issue. If you see this in your tin in your surface something has went really wrong so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that and so if you click on the break lines you can say alright I, I put that 3d polyline in and it something went really bad I wanna get rid of it you can just delete from down here in this list and it'll say it will permanently delete it you say yes I'm gonna get rid of it If you have um, contour lines or shape file lines that are contours, you can add those in through the same and you pick them, give them a name. They'll already have your elevation data. You can add them in. Um, it's really pretty easy just to do a basic surface. Um, if you wanted to add it in with a point group, if you have survey files, you know, you right click, add, and browse to a point file, and you find the, the style that PNEZD is a typical uh, point file format. You want to click on that and then browse to the file, and they'll come in if, they're, if it's something that you're wanting to add that's been shot after, or if you're building an existing surface, not a proposed. So that is the basics of how to create a surface in Civil 3D. I hope it helps.